Let me welcome you to the 91st Transportation Research Board Annual Meeting and the 19th Annual Dwight David Eisenhower Transportation Fellowship Research Showcase. Good morning, my name is Henry C. Murdaugh, and I'm Program Manager for Universities and Grants Programs, which has the responsibility of managing the Dwight David Eisenhower Transportation Fellowship. This is where we highlight the innovative research of our second and third year PhD students. We consider these students to be the creme de la creme, cream of the crop. This is our top researchers. These students are very close to being workforce ready. The type of research that you conduct and is being conducted by Eisenhower recipients throughout this great nation is critical to the current transportation industry and the transportation industry of the future. And you're gonna hear uh, from the best and the brightest minds. As you notice on the podium, we have five of those. They're going to talk about the cutting edge research that's going on in the transportation industry. There's no other discipline or career path more critical or important than the transportation industry. Everyone. Everyone depends on it. You can't get away from it. It is indeed my pleasure to introduce the Federal Highway Administrator, Mr. Victor Mendez. We do face tremendous challenges as a nation. At the Federal Highway Administration, we have tried to provide that jolt to the transportation community through a program that we launched about two years ago. We now branded it as Everyday Counts. We need to maintain our infrastructure, enhance safety, protect the environment, and put people back to work. Secretary Shell established and implemented a Transportation Research Fellowship program for the purpose of attracting qualified students to the field of transportation. The program should be known as the Dwight David Eisenhower Transportation Fellowship Program. The Eisenhower program continues to set the standard for workforce development and action. So my main goal with Everyday Counts beyond advancing specific strategies and technologies is to create a culture of innovation in our industry. All of us at some point need to step back and think about the bigger impact that transportation has on the lives of each and every one of us. Mr. Wall has the distinction of being the number one ranked Eisenhower recipient this year. One of the things we do know about uh, the program is that it does work. The data tells us about 85% of people that go through the Eisenhower program stay in transportation. We're really proud of that. Warming of the climate system is unequivocal. The industry is very hungry for innovation and creativity. Many of you have very good ideas, and we want those ideas. We need those ideas in transportation. I think that this program is a, is a tool to uh, hire the best and brightest minds in the world in the area of transportation. The Eisenhower program is such a critical component of the research and education part of transportation. You know, you have tremendous opportunities available to you, and not just what other people are doing. Things that you can do, things that you can bring to the table. So why do we care? What are, what are the, the real impacts of climate change to transportation infrastructure? Transportation is about how we impact people's lives. The environment for which we design structures over the past 50 years will not necessarily be the environment for which we design infrastructure over the next 50 years. So it opened my mind tremendously to uh, what, to the importance of transportation. I think we have phenomenal students and it's our job to introduce them to the career opportunities and help them navigate through that transportation education pipeline into the workforce.